Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a mandala shirt. I've already washed my shirt, dried it, soaked it in a soda ash solution, and I wrung it out with my panda spin dryer so it's just barely damp. I'm only going to put the mandala on the front of the shirt, so to do that I need to find the middle of the front of my shirt. This shirt is a v-neck, so I don't need to mark the middle on the top, I just need to mark the bottom. The middle of my V at the top of the shirt will be the middle of the top of the shirt. I'm just going to grab those two points and isolate the front of my shirt. Then I'm going to fold my shirt in half. And fold back one side. Flip my shirt over and fold back the other side. So it's kind of like you're beginning making a paper airplane. I'm going to fold my shirt over another time, making sure to smooth out any wrinkles. And I'm folding it over one last time. For this mandala, I'm going to use sinew to tie it up. I'm just beginning one straight line of sinew down at the very end. Then I'm going to take that end, crimp it over toward the untied portion and tie it down. Then I'm going to crimp it the other way, tie it down, just kind of bend it back and forth and tie it with sinew each time. I'm just going to continue this down the shirt. So for this mandala, I'm going to just do a single color. So I really want a lot of white lines in it. So after I've folded my folds and tied those up, I'm just going to take my sinew over the top of those folds and add more lines of sinew going through. I'm hoping that makes sense. I want just extra lines in there, extra white lines. So any of these little humps that have been formed in the fabric from where I tied it up with my sinew, I'm going to just run some more sinew over the top of those and pull it tight so that I'll have a little white line there.
Okay, now that I have my mandala portion of the shirt tied up, I'm just going to take the rest of my shirt and I'm going to scrunch it. And then I'm going to tie that part up with some rubber bands. I put the shirt aside and I've allowed it to dry at least 24 to 36 hours. So it's pretty much all the way dry. For this shirt, like I mentioned earlier, I'm just gonna use a single color. I went out on Grateful Dye's site and found that they had a color called Viridian Blue. I haven't ever worked with that before so I thought, let's give it a whirl. So I ordered some of that and it came in this past week and that's what I have mixed up. On their website, they say to mix six teaspoons for strong color and a half a teaspoon for light. So I decided to start out by mixing two teaspoons of dye and one cup of water to see kind of what I ended up with. I'm going to end up using this entire cup of dye on this shirt. This shirt is a size large, but I'm really going to make sure I get it well saturated. I'm not as concerned about the portion that I scrunched. If part of the white is showing on that, I don't mind that at all but I want to make sure I get the mandala well saturated. To do that, I'm going to just keep coming back and adding more and more dye to it and letting it just wick that dye down through the shirt. Because my shirt is dry, it's going to wick it down in there really well. If your shirt is dry but it's the dye is beating up on it, sometimes what you can do is take a little bit of soda ash water and put it down inside of a spray bottle and just give a gentle mist over the top and over the back of your shirt and that'll help the dye wick down into there better and soak up into the fabric. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the shirt aside and I'm gonna let it sit for probably about 24 hours. All right, so here's what our shirt ended up looking like. I like this Viridian Blue. I think it's a pretty cool color. Mixed at this concentration, it reminds me kind of a little bit of either Cayman Isle or Jade from Dharma. Listen, I hope you guys are enjoying watching my videos. If you are, I really would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do that really easily by just hitting the big red subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.